Alright, hey everyone, it's Samia, and right now I'm going to be doing a bookworm box unboxing for the month of April. I just got my box yesterday, and I already opened it because there was some water damage, and so I had to open it because I wanted to make sure the books were okay and nothing was damaged. Um, only the outside of the box was damaged. It's kind of like beat up and broken and ripped up, and I can barely even like hold it together. <laughs> it's like bent inside, like it's just a mess, but... I just wanted to make sure the books didn't have any water damage and so I did open it, open it and so it's not technically an unboxing, more of just a what I got. So I'm going to go ahead and get right into it. So I'm first going to show you the swag that I got from like the authors. So I just got some author book swag here, a magnet and then some paper, like I use these as bookmarks so I use those as bookmarks. I also got the newsletter here and it talks about the bookworm box if you don't know which I'm sure you do but just in case you don't the bookworm box is a subscription service started by Colleen Hoover you get two signed books every month as well as some book swag and all the money is donated to charity that's how I kind of sum it up into what it really is because I have gone into like huge long explanations of what it is but that's the basic gist of it I do believe that they um, are closed for their like spots for subscription but you can always check on their Facebook they're very um, up to date and they always let you know when there's new spots I think there might be an option to buy like a single box um, they also sell swag like t-shirts hoodies cups mugs all that type of stuff um, on their website as well so just check it out it's really an awesome thing everything's done as a charity it's just great that's how I'm not gonna say that's how I justify spending so much money on it because it is kind of expensive but I do like to buy it anyways so the other book swag that I got was the bookworm box pen as always I have a million of them oh I also got this little pin from Sky Warren it says Shh, I'm reading and I don't have anywhere to put my pins I do put a lot of my um, swag and stuff in this little jar it has a little s on it for me my name but I put most of like the swag and sometimes I'll, I have like different kinds of like bookmarks and stuff like this elephant one it's super cute I put it in this jar just because I don't necessarily know how to use it right away but it's always there if I ever need it so I got some mints in here so I can just put that right in there I also got a bookworm box little charging port you know for your car which is nice because I need one of these now I just need an extra charger and I can keep this in my car which is always awesome to have just in case and then I also got a bookworm box sticker I this is my third one of them I don't know what to do with them I hang them up on my little whiteboard with some magnets so I don't know where to stick them and so if you have any ideas of where I can stick these let me know because I'm like stuck I mean, I could put it on my computer, but I don't have any stickers on my computer, and I have a case on my computer, too, so that wouldn't really work. But I need some ideas of where to put them. Now, on to the most important part that you guys really care about is the two books that I got, and I am presently surprised with the books that I got this month. Um, I do think that I will enjoy them, and I have read books by both of these authors, so that's nice. So the first book that I got is um, Honesty by Seth King. I have read a book by him... I don't remember the name. I think it's The Good Fight. I read it a long time ago. Um, he like requested me on Instagram and um, he was requesting like a lot of people. <laughs> I think it was the very beginning. I think it was his first novel and I ended up buying it for 99 cents and reading it. I did enjoy it. It was a little different than what I normally read. I don't remember much about it. Um, I remember there were some graphic scenes because those were like, whoa, but I don't remember much about that book um I did enjoy it and so I haven't read anything else from him he has written a few other books since then and I haven't picked them up I just haven't really felt the need to but this one I heard is actually really awesome I mean I follow him on Instagram and so of course everyone that follows him is his fans and so I see he, he'll post pictures and you know his fans will just be like gushing about his books and of course they're his fans but that's what it looks like and here's his signature and then the book it says as a closeted teenager in the deep south bookworm Cole Furman has resigned himself to only ever experiencing life and love within the pages of his favorite novels 
But after Nick Flores seems to walk off a page and one day start to rewrite his life, Cole finds his dreams spinning into a dazzling and complicated reality. If you have ever been on the wild, breathless ride that is first love, prefer Prepare for honesty to rip you back again into screaming color. And so Seth King is a 26-year-old author of The Summer Remains, along, among others. He lives in Florida. <laughs> so that was a little funny. But that is that. There's like no picture of him in here. You can follow him on Instagram and, you know. But yeah, that's that. I think it'll be really good. I really have heard really great things about this book so I'm excited and then the next book that I have is Midnight Lily by Mia Sheridan and I believe she wrote oh no I was thinking of a different author I don't think I have anything right here except I might I can't turn around I have too much stuff over here I think I have a book by her Mia Sheridan Ugh. it's gonna bother me I don't know. I think I want to read her books. Maybe that's it. But this is a sign of love novel and she has a whole... They're not serious because they are um, standalones. They can be read as 